Yo, what is going on guys? Bobby here and today we are back with another video. Now I know it's been a pretty long time. It's been almost a week actually, but uh, to be honest, there's just nothing really that I wanted to post. There's nothing really... I didn't want to force any content basically. What I did over the past week was I started grinding Team Power League. Many of you guys might have saw on Patchy's channel. I was playing a lot with him. We managed to reach a legendary three, but it's so hard to get masters in North America. You basically have to wait in 30 minute matchmaking every single game. And then if you want to win and hit masters, you need to win 100% of games. And we have all these, you know, really good players sniping us. So to go perfect, it's really hard. We're going to go for it next season. But the reason I was going for it is I want the quest to a perfect account. So I want to hit 50k highest trophies. I want all rank 35. I want master's badges and everything. I want to get all my boss fights or whatever highest rampage level. I want everything to be perfect. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of what I've been doing. So I'm going to be starting that grind and obviously putting all of it on YouTube. Uh, but with that being said, today we have a pretty special video for you guys. It's going to be the 10 best brawlers to max out now a lot of you guys ask you know what brawlers do i max out the meta is always changing what's good what's bad what should i do and i'm just going to show you guys the 10 best brawlers in my opinion to max out so with that being said let's hop into the video and let's get this started now there's no order to this but the first brawler we're going to be showing you guys here is daryl now daryl it looks like they're not going to nerf him any more than he's already been nerfed maybe a tiny bit but he's just really good in like every single mode you can use him in brawl ball heist gem Siege, which uh, I guess they took out of the game. Knockout, any mode that is played in Brawl Stars, you can play Daryl in. And Daryl is really good into everything except for its counters. With that being said, every brawler in the game has counters. So I would definitely max out my Daryl if I were you guys. If I wanted to max it out with gears, I would definitely go speed and damage if I were to pick two. The health gear is also good. The shield's not too bad, but I would definitely stick with health. And um, I mean speed and damage or health. But yeah. That's going to be the first brawler, so let's continue. Now, we're starting off the list a little bit sweaty. These brawlers are really strong and have been really strong for a very long time. We're going to go more into the fun brawlers a little bit later. But our second brawler that I would probably max out is Bell. Bell is just really good, again, in every single mode, which is going to be a theme that you guys see with about half the brawlers here. Is It's just really good into everything. And if you guys want to climb ranks in Power League, if you guys want to climb ranks in your club league, or if you guys just want to hit rank 35s, rank 30s, stuff like that, these are definitely brawlers that you guys want to use. Bell is good in every single mode, um, and it's just really strong when you have the right gears on it. I would put on the shield and either damage or speed, one of the two, but Bell is good in basically every mode. It's good into basically every brawler, so I would definitely consider maxing out your bell if you guys want some success so our third brawler that we're going to show you guys today is stew and i am not very good at the stew but that doesn't mean you shouldn't max out stew stew is very good in a lot of different modes now it isn't as well-rounded i'd say as bell and daryl because it does have its weakness its dps isn't too high um it does have a lot of counters that are pretty meta for example spike Tara, not really Tara anymore, but mostly Spike, you know, Ruffs is pretty good into it. Basically anything with a gadget that can just plop on the ground and and just counter you with. But it's been good for a long time. It looks like this is the weakest Stu is actually going to be. Um, so I would definitely consider getting Stu maxed. Your gears, you can have speed, damage, shield, uh, probably one of those three I would recommend. But yeah, Stu's a menace, so definitely get this brawler maxed out. Coming up, number four, we're going to have Tara. Now, no matter what, no matter how bad Tara is, and no matter what the meta is, Tara's pull is always going to be the best super in the game. Well, maybe not the best, but definitely one of the best. The game-changing ability that you have with Tara, it doesn't matter how good Tara is in the meta, it's always going to have that. And if you have a max Tara, with the correct gadget being the pets you have the correct star power the correct gears which i'd probably use speed and shield but you could use damage as well tara is just going to be good no matter what and it's going to counter a lot no matter what so i would definitely 100 percent recommend maxing out your tara because tara is a really fun brawler and it's really good into the meta so let's move on to the next brawler now and let's keep this list going so coming up next we have leon now leon's probably a top three brawler maybe not top three but top five in the meta right now and it's been really good for really long and again it's just a brawler that's good in a lot of different modes 
and it's good into a lot of different things it doesn't have too many counters it can beat tanks pretty easily don't mind this play on your screen i was gonna do something cool uh but it's good into tanks obviously it's good into range because you can just sneak on range and kill them very easily it's good into it's pretty good into dps brawlers because you also have high dps and mid range it's kind of just good into everything and then you can play according to your play style if you want to use speed with the invis or if you guys want to use heal it's just a really really well-rounded brawler that's good in every mode and again this is what you guys should be maxing out things that are really well-rounded so if you want to push power league club league if you guys just want to win in general this is definitely what you want to go with again the gears you want to go with damage speed and shield those are easily the three best on this brawler those are going to be the three best on every brawler that isn't a tank if it's tank the health gear is pretty good but yeah leon it's super good would definitely 100 percent consider maxing you guys can see i have a power 11 so yeah again next brawler let's keep it going so this is probably the last brawler that's not you know super fun to play and a lot of people do like this but uh spike is going to be one of the brawlers that i would definitely recommend um to get to max level i mean tanks are going to be meta for probably a good amount of time and spike is obviously really good into tanks additionally this the cactus not you know spike itself but the actual cactus gadget is such a hard counter for like a third of the brawlers in the game you're facing a stew oh click that green button it can't hit you anymore you're facing a brock a piper anything like that you're one shot just click that green button and you're fine. You can play curveball if you're not comfortable with the other star power. And if you are comfortable with the other star power, you can walk around like I am and just walk into people and click the auto aim button. But yeah, spike's really good. It's only weakness is range, but you can just not play spike on bounty to avoid that issue. So yeah, I'd highly recommend playing spike. Very good brawler. Now let's move into more of the fun brawlers that are also good. And let's get on to the next brawler. So our first, you know super fun brawler that i find fun that is also really good is byron byron is absolutely busted it's been busted since the second it's come into the game now it's not mind-boggling broken like some of the brawlers are like when amber was broken it was broken you know when sandy is broken it's really broken but this it's kind of like a sneaky type of broken but it's because byron just has so much value it's ridiculous the star powers the heals the attacks the poison like just everything about it the gadgets it's just such a good brawler now it does have its weaknesses like if you're laning a piper or something like that but again just try and not lane a piper and you're probably going to be fine it just has so much utility it's such a strong brawler it's hard to take out it's good to heal your teammates i call it the long poco it's just good into everything and i would definitely 100 if you had one brawler that you wanted to absolutely sweat with and become insane at so you can hit the highest rank in something byron would definitely be my pick but let's move on to some more fun brawlers that i'd recommend getting the level 11 and let's keep this list going all right so our brawler is going to be rico now everyone knows rico is super fun to play and it just so happens that they released a broken gadget that i assume that they're just literally never going to fix because it's already as weak as it can be so there's no way they make it even weaker so rico is a brawler i would 100 thousand percent recommend to get to level 11 i mean it's super fun you just get to clip in you it's good in every mode it's good into basically every brawler and then the gadget is broken and there's no sign of fixing it so i would definitely recommend getting your rico to max level super fun super awesome to play super broken super good in every mode and i don't know there's just not much more fun you can have in brawl stars than playing rico so on to the next brawler we go now i feel like this brawler is kind of a given here but level 11 mortis is just so fun it's so good um i don't know if it's maybe the smartest brawler i wouldn't you know get a level 11 over tara or spike or Stu, or daryl or most of the brawlers i listed here but it is just such a fun brawler and when it's level 11 and you're facing brawlers that are level 9 level 10 you know a little bit weaker than you are you just bully them with mortis that's just how it is you really just bully them it's so good i would 100 percent recommend getting your mortis to level 11 it is busted and it's super fun so definitely go ahead and do that coming in with our last number 10 we have ash now ash is a little tiny bit less on the fun side although if you like playing tanks it's definitely a super fun brawler this brawler is busted level 11 like like seriously broken supercell needs to do something about this but i don't know if they will because they've already kind of made their stance on ash a little bit um 
But yeah, this brawler level 11, you give him the speed, you give him the damage, and he just gets going. Ash is different. You guys can see I'm playing into counters this game. Literally a Tara, a Spike, and a B. Three brawlers that just absolutely clap Ash. And it doesn't matter because you just walk around. You hit people for 2.8 thousand damage per shot. You have good range. You have 8.1 thousand HP. Like you're just a little demon on the Ash. It's such a good brawler. And it's pretty fun just walking around and stopping everything that counters you. And if it doesn't counter you, you're just going to walk in a straight line and kill them. So that is going to be it for our list. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that. We're only 70 subs away from 70k, which is pretty insane. I don't, I don't know if I ever thought I would hit 70k, but we're here. And uh, we're only 70 away. But yeah, uh, a lot of content coming your way. Power League's coming back in a couple days. So that's going to be cool. New Brawl Pass. You know, there's going to be a lot of stuff with that. And Brawl Stars Competitive. The monthly finals are coming up. Queso starting. So we've got a lot of content coming. I know I didn't post for a week. But I just didn't want to force content that wasn't that great. So anyways, it's going to be it for me today. If you guys enjoyed, do what you got to do. And I'll see you guys soon. Peace. Hey you. Yes, you there watching this on your phone. Have you ever wanted to be the best? the most handsome, the most loved player on your team, and support your favorite creator at the same time. Well I have good news. You can be all of that and more, by using code Bobby. But you have to do it now because this is a limited time offer. Use code Bobby at any Supercell Games store.